hi guys good evening and welcome back to sweet truth this morning was just amazing huh i am i'm at a loss for words honestly like today uh the whole day i've just been at, at a loss for words because i am just so amazed by by how god is using me and i am just amazed that my best friend the holy spirit would choose me to be his voice when it comes to this podcast and i just want to thank him and all glory be to god amen today or rather this evening i will be talking about every good and perfect gift so my message today is entitled or rather my message this evening is entitled good and perfect gifts and i will be reading from james 1 16 to 18 and it says 16 my christian brothers do not be fooled about this 17 whatever is good and perfect comes to us from god whatever is good and perfect comes to us from god you know it makes you think about it you know let's think about it real quick good and perfect that could be anything in your life literal when you look around your life you know your family is a good and perfect gift to you your friends your job, your schooling, your life is a good and perfect gift from God. Everything good and perfect in your life currently is from God. It continues to say, He is the one who made all light. He does not change. God will never change. And how amazing is that just to know that, you know, he will never change. As for me, personally, I would love to have my assurance and believe wholeheartedly in a God that will never change, you know. You've got all these other people that have different gods out there, this and that, this and that, and then today their God is there and tomorrow he's not and the other day he looks like this and the other day he looks like that's you know I mean it's I, I don't even have a word for it I I can't even begin to you know even think and describe that like who would want to you know to worship and like obey and listen to an object or something that's ever changing you know when we have a one good and perfect God that never changes hallelujah and so we are so blessed we are so blessed to know that our God never changes he will never change he does not change it goes on to say no shadow is made by his turning and verse 18 says he gave us our new lives through the truth of his word. Hallelujah. He gave us our new lives through the truth of his word. Only because he wanted to. We are the first children in his family. Amen. And that's the end of it. But oh my God. Oh my, I love this Aiden so much. Because he wanted to you guys. Do you know, like, the only reason, the only reason that we are even able to have the salvation of our Lord Jesus Christ is because God wanted to. If it wasn't for him, would be lost individuals out there, you know, and just living life carelessly without no plan or no will or no papers. I mean, that would be so boring and just absurd and I can't even begin to, you know, fathom what that would be like. And so, our God being a great, great father, you know, um, after creating us as these perfect beings and having the fallout of Adam and Eve, I am so glad that he wanted to. 
He wanted to have us back with him. He craved to have that closeness with us, that relationship with us, and therefore sent his one and only begotten son. So through him, through Jesus Christ, we would be saved and have that closeness with our heavenly father again. Amen. And that's where our new lives come from. That's It's a new life, they say, when you get to receive salvation and receive Jesus as your Lord and Savior. And that the confirmation is in his word, y'all. Like, this is his word. I'm only a voice. I am only a voice to his word. Amen. And it's right here. Don't believe me, read James 1, 18. He gave us new lives through the truth of his word. Amen. Only because he wanted to. We are. We are the first children in his family. And that's something you should always keep in mind. That's a fact. That's a point. We are the first children in his family. Hallelujah. And so I just hope this evening segment bless you. I am just so amazed, man. God is so great. Oh, the Holy Spirit is just so amazing, yo. I could never, never even begin to think of it because there's no word that compares, that I can use to compare the Holy Spirit to anyone anything or like anyone like literally there's no word i don't think there's a word out there that exists in which i could use personally to describe the holy spirit to just des- to describe god because they're just that amazing and i am just overwhelmed by them and um, i am just you know overwhelmed it's it's amazing it blows my mind it blows my mind just to like know that there is a god that loves me that loves us so much just to know that there is the holy spirit that our best friend my best friend that's for me wow only because he wanted to wow So, Father God, we just want to thank you for our new lives through your truth. We thank you, God, and honor you that you you wanted us to have that closeness with you. You wanted us to have that close relationship with you, dear God. Therefore, you sent your Son, your one and only begotten Son, Jesus Christ, to come and die for us and cleanse us of our sins so we could have that closeness with you, God, and that relationship with you, God, that you've always craved, that we have always craved, knowing it and not knowing it. We just thank you, God. We thank you. I thank you. I bless you. I honor your name. I praise you. I love you so, so much, Holy Spirit. I love you, my Heavenly Father. I pray that you guys have a blessed night. May you be blessed, encouraged, be fearless, and have faith and trust in our Heavenly Father. I will see you guys tomorrow morning, or rather chat with you tomorrow morning. I'm talking about seeing, and we've got this whole quarantine thing going on. <laughs> it's funny that I'll use the word see. Yeah, but I will. Um, good night. <laughs>